Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we are on the River Wye in Derbyshire. It's beautiful, it is a Saturday, we haven't seen many fishermen, we also haven't seen many fish rise so I think we're gonna have to look for them by prospecting the water and trying to get a few out that way. Yep, yep, the first thing we need to prospect is you guys hitting that subs button. Smash the subs button at the start of the video, please. Keep subscribed to the channel, we get notifications every time we make a new video. Uh, Ivy's absolutely right here, Derbyshire Y. In truth, it's a little bit quiet so far, isn't it? It's it is a water where it's dry fly only, so we have to fish on the dry fly. But hopefully we can prospect a few hours, eh? Yeah, so, so for those of you who perhaps haven't come across the word prospecting before, it's just it's a nice technical term for casting in, in likely areas rather than casting at fish. Generally with a dry fly, you would find a fish and try and figure out what it's eating and cast to it and if you couldn't do that you'd fish a nymph we can't do that here because as IB says it's a dry flow only river so what we've got to do is find likely looking areas where we think we'd expect to see uh, fish nymphing where we'd try and catch them on nymphs but try and bring them up on perhaps a slightly chunkier dry fly than usual or something with a bit more visibility in truth it, it, sometimes it can be brilliant sometimes yeah, this can yeah. be more effective than stalking rising fish sometimes it can be tricky i think the only way we're going to find out what it is today is by cracking on and getting on with it i call dibs <laughs> right i don't know if i'm going to be able to see that fly Oh yeah, I think I can see it. I did not expect that. I was like, oh, I'm just gonna have a few prospecting casts. I didn't expect that. Come on, little one. Is it a rainbow? I hope it's a rainbow. Nope. Genuinely, I did not expect so like we switched the GoPro on and everything and I didn't even start talking or any I was just trying to get my line out and seeing and I was trying to figure out if I can see the fly okay or the water or not and as soon as I drifted the fly the fish just stuck it and it's a beautiful uh, beautiful trout <sighs> and that's my first Derbyshire wild trout of the year of the mark and it's turn righty so I think I'd be I think I'd be crazy to ignore what IB just did and fish through this riffle and this is exactly the kind of place you'd look to be fishing when you're prospecting. Uh, we aren't seeing fish rise, there, there's perhaps a few more bugs around than when we first pulled up but we aren't seeing lots of fish rise so it's a question of finding those spots that would hold fish that were perhaps feeding on nymphs so riffles like this are ideal and then just seeing if you can pull those same fish up just with a dry fly. I tend to fish a slightly bigger dry than Perhaps I would do normally when I'm prospecting. Just you know, I'm trying to pull fish up. That's gone through nicely. Underneath that tree, and we're looking at areas like that underneath this overhanging tree on the far side. It's like an area where a fish could sit pretty comfortably and pretty safely. But what you don't do is spend ages in one place doing the same thing. It's a fairly quick method. You fish these areas quite quickly. Cover the water. Find those feeding fish. We went for the size 14 on the other's olive upright done. It actually looks quite big on the water. We'll give it a good go. Oh, I missed him. <laughs> Tiny little fish. That's why I'm working up this pool. I'm keeping low because there's no cover behind me. Oh, crikey. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm having one of those days, IB. Just shows though, even though there aren't fish rising, they are where they should be. They are in this nymphing lie. The fact that I can't hit them isn't the fault of the fish. I've missed another one. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> oh. <laughs> what is going on? I'd have to dry the fly after that one. Now that one, at least I actually nicked that one.
Right, come on Andy, you've done this before. <laughs> these are these are the tiniest little trout. But from a pool where we haven't really seen any fish rise, we've pulled, well, I've, I've missed four, I be hit her one. So we've pulled five takes from a pool at a time when some anglers would say there's nothing happening. And, you know, no point chucking the dry fly. Just proves they are there and they are willing to come up. Just need to get the right fly, the right drift. In these nymphin lies, you'll pull fish up. Ideally, you'd hit a few takes as well, Andy. Off. <laughs> What's happening? That's a nice drift. Oh, I've hit one. <laughs> Panic. <laughs> I've actually hit one. <laughs> no, the drift was over as far as I was concerned. It came out of nowhere. Oh, pulling back a little bit as well. God, these little rainbows pull back for the size. If that was a brownie, could have skated him across the surface. Yay! So I'm one for six there, IB. What do you reckon to that? <laughs> I think I think you summed it up nicely. Let's have a quick look at this guy, get him straight back, and I think you need to show me how it's done again. There we go. Beautiful little wild rainbow. And I think it's gonna find his own way out the net. There he goes. Minimal handling, that's what we like. I'm sorry, IB. I'm not very good at this, am I? Nope. Uh, you're better than me at fishing. You're better than me at fly tying. What else? Just better all together. Just better all around. Well, I'll tell you what, you show me how it's done. Okay, so after watching Andy painfully, I'm gonna try it myself again. We actually started seeing a few more fish rising now as well. Oh, this is Andy's course, isn't it? That's all it is. It's just a curse. <laughs> Sorry, little guy. I will net you. Just to be on the safe side. And that, Andy, is how you do it. You don't spend 10 minutes and missing five or six takes. You just go in there, you cast the fly. Miss one. You shut up, we don't talk about that one. You just cast the line, the fish takes it, and you just strike and you hook the fish. Let's not talk about the first one. I think it was just still like bad uh, mojo or whatever, what, did, what do they call it? Bad mojo from you touching the rod. So perhaps we just can't share the rods anymore because you bring bad luck to me. Let's have a look at this little guy. Tiny, tiny, little wild rainbow. I think it's still my favorite fish because they're a bit nutters like me. Fight like crazy. Look beautiful. What's not to like? Okay, right. We've got a fish on the far bank that's taken quite regularly. We've actually switched from the whole kind of prospecting idea of things now to targeting fish. There weren't fish rising when we got here, there are now, so we can, we can start to kind of hunt fish rather than just guess, which I much prefer. There he is, just took a, just took a bug right, he's literally like six inches off the far side and he won't come away from his line. Howling upstream breeze all of a sudden, where's that come from? That's on the bank, if I fall off, oh yeah. That was nearly perfect. There he is. Sort my line out. Sort my life out. Let's try that again. Oh! Do you see that? <laughs> it got stuck on the far bank just on one of the roots. And in the process of pulling it off, I hopped it on the water a little bit. A brownie threw itself at it. Do you ever get the feeling it's just not going to be your day, Ivy? Righty, so this fish is actually back. I didn't think he'd come back after that, but he has. That's short of him. Let it drift through.
that's good, that's good. Come on, eat that one. Yeah, got him. <laughs> the second attempt. <laughs> the first one he smashed and a miss. The second one I managed to make contact with. And no surprise, given where he is, kind of nice shady little hole out the way, that that's a brownie and not a rainbow. Finally. Guy B. You're going to have to teach me to fish better than this. Really pretty little brown. Look at the red on that. Absolutely gorgeous fish. Straight back with you. Go and catch some more for the eyes. Go and feed harder. Oh dear. IB, that's taken ages, hasn't it? I'm sorry. Is it your turn? Yes. <laughs> Come on, take the rod off me. What do we call that? A success or a failure? Or what do we call that? I call it my success and your failure. <laughs> well, that's probably fair enough. I've risen, what, 10 fish there maybe? Uh, yeah, not not feeling it at the moment really, am I? My striking's no, not on point. No. It never really is on these vlogs. It always seems that when the camera's there, I fall apart. Whereas you seem to get better and better. I'm the other way around. I'm uh, all for that attention. <laughs> well, it feels like the, maybe the dynamic of the day has changed and we're starting to yeah. see a few more rising fish. So maybe we can get away from the prospecting. Hopefully we'll start to see a few more fish rise, there's more bugs in the air. It is interesting though, everything goes dead when the sun hides behind the clouds, when it's cloudy and then when the sun comes out everything becomes alive again. The bugs hatch again, don't they? And yeah, the we've definitely noticed that. Again. So I think all we can do is, is keep looking for these windows where it's sunny, yeah. keep looking for the bugs yeah. and we'll probably start covering some ground a bit now because we've spent basically an hour in the same 50, 60 yards, haven't we? Yep. Should we go and find some risers? I think we have a nice pool um, upstream from us now where we can prospect some fish out and give it five minutes or so and then if that doesn't work we can go and find a few more fish, hopefully rising. Sweet, sounds good to me. Alright, so we have seen the fish that is rising constantly and pretty much eating everything. I don't want to spook it. So I'm going to stay as low as possible. Oh my God, it looked, did you see that? It came up and had a look, that was so fucking cool. I saw the fish to come up and have a look. No interest this time. He kind of looked, he turned around and followed the fly, but didn't come up far up in the water. Hmm. Might need a change of fly here. Wow. Ooh, had a look, had a look. Drag. Ooh, mine's next, mine's next, mine's next, mine's next, mine's next. Yes! Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> that fish made me work so much. Oh my god, yes! Oh! <laughs> Right, don't go into the snags, don't go into the snags, please don't go into the snags. Oh my goodness, you are a wild rainbow! That is bonkers! He made me work, didn't he? All he wanted was a smaller fly. He's not done yet. Not done yet. You know what? That fish made me work so hard. So I feel like I really deserved it. I achieved something really great today. Let's have a look. That is a gorgeous Derbyshire wild rainbow. Stunning fish, absolutely gorgeous. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, that's such a good relief. Honestly, I feel like that rainbow made me work for it. It was painful. I thought like, am I making the cast wrong? Is it wrong? And I could see it's so cool because the river is so clear. You can see the fish to come up and have a look and then reject the fly. And it makes you think, is the presentation wrong? Is the tip or too thick? Is the fly wrong? Like what's happening? Clearly it's having a look, so it would probably want to take it. But then something happens and at the last minute it changes its mind. So I'm so glad I decided, let's just go for a smaller 
um, for a smaller done I put on one of the Craig McDonald's foam duns and it worked wonders so Craig thank you very much and also Craig I hate you because your fly worked and mine didn't <laughs> but yes right IB's done really well there quite jealous of that rainbow but actually just a bit further upstream we found another fish rising so I'm going to try and cover that underneath these trees that's a pretty good cast actually I didn't see him move for it so we'll try that again oh dear that's a horrible cast it's landed in a right heap we'll forget about that one just perhaps dropping these a little bit behind him yeah I am just slightly behind him that'll do that should be spot on didn't eat it possibly dragged it a little bit IB said she's perhaps got a better view of it than I have I think that oh we looked oh we came and had a look okay I'm just gonna pause for a second or two there's no rush there he is he is still there he's still feeding tricky cast but it looks a nice fish so it's worth it That'll do. No, maybe slightly behind him. Oh yeah, that'll do it. Come on, eat that one. Eat that one, mine should be next. No. Wow. Go. Thought I'd nailed it then. Let's try again. Okay, that's a good cast again. Oh, he looked at it. He had a little fin at it, quite late in the drift as well, I wonder if he followed it back. Can't see the fish until he's a couple of inches under the surface, so I've not got a great view of what's happening. That's pretty nice. No bueno again, interesting. I just wonder if there's some drag... Not really, this is 16. I just wonder if that's dragging towards me slightly. He moves around a fair amount, it's diff difficult to keep track on where he is over there. That's a nice long way over. Got him, got him. Yeah, I had a feeling the fly was right, I just wasn't getting the presentation right. Nice fish. Nice fish, yeah. Yeah, 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 he wants to get back over there. Oh, I hate pulling directly upstream like this. I haven't really... Look at it. Okay. I haven't really got anywhere else to go downstream. Come on, in you come. Brownie, big brownie. I actually thought it was a rainbow. It's not, it's a big brown. It's way bigger than I realised. Panic. Panic. Yeah, big brownie. I really thought that was a rainbow. It's such a bright fish. I thought it was a rainbow. I might actually, we'll see where he goes. I might walk him down to the next corner. It's a bit easier to net him down there. But yeah, we'll do that. There we go. I can get closer to the water here. Much more comfortable playing this fish from here. That's a lovely brown. Lovely. Oh, plinked over his dorsal fin. I hate that feeling. It's horrible. That's a lovely brownie. That's a lovely brownie. Heart's pounding. Come on. No, not ready yet. It's okay. Turned him. There's a bit of a, there's a sunken tree down there and every now and again he tilts his head down to try and get himself into the tree. Can I turn him? Can I turn him? That's just strong, oh, just strong enough to resist at the moment, but he's close. Danger time now. Oh, plink again. Steady pressure. Nope. Oh. Oh. Come on. Come on. Oh, still strong as well. Surprised. Thought it was done then. It's just found a it's just found a second wind from somewhere. Turned him. Turned him again. Still strong. Still strong. Yes! Woo! Yes! What a fish! 
What a fish. I did not expect one of those when we came out today. I had no idea how big this fish was. It's probably one of the biggest brownies I've had out of the Derbyshire. Why? It's an absolute stunner. Oh my goodness, what a fish. You always kind of hope when you come out for a day's fishing that you're going to bump into one of these, but you never quite expect it to happen. What a fish, beautiful Derbyshire wild brown. I cannot tell you how happy I am with that. That is an absolute stunner. We're going to get him back now, he deserves some rest. Come on buddy, back you go, nice clear cold water. I'm going to hold him for a second or two, I'm going to wait until he kicks. You ready? <laughs> how cool is that? I can't believe that's just happened. I honestly had no idea how big that fish was. I'd, I'd seen it rise a couple of times while IB was fishing for her fish and just wrote it off as a, you know, one of those little rainbows that we were catching earlier. I was not expecting that. That is absolutely incredible. What an experience. So cool to catch a big wild fish like this. Amazingly cool to be able to share that with IB and totally freaking mind blowing to be able to share it with the world. That is awesome. That has made my year already. Thank you very much for letting us back out and do some fishing angling trust in the government. I appreciate it now. What happened here, Andy? <laughs> what a phenomenal fish. Oh my goodness. Well, yours was pretty freaking epic. I'm not going to lie. I'm a bit jealous. I kind of feel like you probably saw that fish before and told me Aww. to try and chase a different fish. So would you I do that to this. you, darling? Yes, yes, you would. Yeah, I absolutely yeah, you would. would. You're damn right it would. <laughs> <laughs> we both would do that. <laughs> yeah, technical fish, interesting fish, lots of casts. Yes. I covered it a lot and even even though I was inkling towards changing the fly, I always kind of felt like presentation was the issue there. And to be honest, I think in most instances where you feel like you've got a handle on what's hatching, it's probably presentation. I think that anglers are possibly sometimes a bit too hasty to change flies or do something different when the reality was there. I just wasn't getting it right. Yeah, yeah. The, to be fair, it wasn't a really tough spot. The yeah, fish it, wasn't a tough spot. It was a, it was a tricky spot. I was pretty pretty proud of the cast there um, and to be able to hit a take which I hadn't been doing very well up till now. <laughs> if you haven't, if you missed that mouth oh, on that if one. Oh, I missed that. It was well hooked as well. Yeah, it was, it was. That wasn't coming yeah. out, definitely not. I'm absolutely over the moon with that. That could well be the fish of my season. But At the first time now, ask him. I have seen another, fly, another uh, trout rising. So is it your go again? It is my go Come again. Come on, Ivy. Andy, Andy said uh, that's his fishing done for this year, so Whoa. it's just going to be me fishing now. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. You just wait. Come on, show me how it's done. Okay. Okay, if I haven't spooked it, I might still have a chance. If I have spooked it, it's my own fault. And that was the worst cast ever. Yeah, this is not an easy cast, is it? Oh, that's nowhere near the fish. That should cover it. Yeah. Yes, it does cover it. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm tangled in the tree here. Oh, okay. Okay, I think I have control over this. Unlike my life. Come on. <laughs> This fish, I have tried to cover it a couple of times before last year and I was never able to make a cast. So the fact that I was able to make a cast and the fish took it, I'm quite pleased with that. That means I am improving, my casting is improving and I'm making it happen in between the trees. Well done for me. And let's have a look at this beautiful rainbow. So it's nice to know that the same fly that Andy used, a little foam done, worked wonders for me as well because I just had a most stunning, beautiful, wild, Derbyshire rainbow. You knob. <laughs> this is what I have to put up with. <laughs> Trying to film a nice little b-roll of Yeva walking past all these nice reeds here, very green and scenic, to try and transmit to you, the viewer, that we are changing position from where we've been and this is what I have to deal with. Lunging is a sign of health. You have no idea how difficult making these vlogs actually is with this numpty. Quite a nice shot in the end, actually. Is it? No. 
So during the course of the day's fishing, I actually had to swap some of the memory cards around in the GoPros and in the main camera because we were starting to run out of memory on one and you know, there's plenty of space on the other. Unfortunately, when we got back, in all the excitement and all the dehydration from what was uh, a pretty hot afternoon's fishing, I managed to erase all the rest of the footage from this session off the main camera, which is really frustrating. Although in truth, we didn't actually miss out on that much more happening, did we? I don't think you guys missed on that much, to be fair. After I had my, uh, the last fish, um, the last rainbow on film, I missed two fish in the pool downstream from there. And then I missed another one in the next pool. Uh, and I had a tiny little rainbow and that was pretty much it. Yeah, yeah, you did catch one more fish, didn't you? I uh, managed to miss two takes. In fact, I managed to miss the same fish twice. That takes skill. Cool. Yeah, I've been practicing that one for years. You don't get that kind of ability overnight. That is something that you have to learn, kids, if you want to. If you want to do this, that's how you do it. Uh, but all in all, a pretty cool session. It was such a good day. Uh, first of all, it was really nice to fish the wide together again. Um, because I fished it a couple of days before we filmed that and it, it was really nice to fish together. It was really nice to film back on the Y. It was really nice to see the mayfly trickling mm -hmm. very slowly. That's getting us excited. And what a fish did you have? Well, we both have pretty cool fish. I mean, I, I, I feel like my brownie is going to overshadow your rainbow, which was in itself an absolutely incredible trout. It was just... You know, you don't catch one of those big browns every day on that no, place, do no, you? No, really uh, don't. I was so lucky, and that was that's the first time I fished the Y this season. I was so lucky to, to be able to drop on that one. Uh, and as we said on shot, we had no idea when that fish was rising just how big it was. Uh, so lesson learned there. That I often think the more delicate the rises are, sometimes that gives away the bigger fish. Those little fish kind of flash the and splash, don't ones, they? Yeah. yeah. Those big fish will learn just to, to take it delicately. So all in all, really, really enjoyed it. Apologies for the missing footage at the end. As I say, I don't think you've missed a whole lot. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, then you risk missing out on a huge amount of really cool stuff. I'm actually sat in the other room at the moment editing a new vlog that's coming really soon. We went away and caught a load of fish on a different river, didn't we? So hit the subs button and you'll get a notification for when that's coming up real soon. I guess all we need to do now is say goodbye to these nice people, don't we? So thank you very much for watching. Like the video, leave us a nice comment, say hi if you see us, and we will guys see you in the next video very, very soon. Take care, folks. Bye. Bye-bye.